theorem s to solve x to the fourth minus 256 equals 0. This is actually the difference of two squares. This is in the form a squared minus b squared. So it's going to factor out to a plus b, a minus b. And if you look at it and think about it this way, x squared squared is x to the fourth. And if you look at this one, 256, and take the square root of that, it's actually 16. So if you look at 256 and take the square root. Therefore, this is telling me that a equals x squared and b equals 16. So I can factor it as follows. a plus b, so that's x squared plus 16 times a minus b, or x squared, minus 16. Okay, I'm looking at what I have. I can't do anything else with x squared plus 16. But I recognize, again, here I have the difference of two squares. This time, a equals x and b equals 4. So it's going to factor out to x plus 4, x minus 4. And these are set equal to 0. Now, I use the zero product property, which is going to tell me that I could have x squared plus 16 equals 0, x plus 4 equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0. Now let's work at these simpler ones first. Simply subtracting negative, uh, subtracting 4 from both sides to give me x equals negative 4. Adding 4 to both sides, x equals 4. So I have two of my solutions. Now looking over here, a little bit more complex, subtract 16 from both sides. That gives me x squared equals negative 16. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And you can see that this is, ends up being plus or minus the square root of negative 16. And this is a negative number. And since I know that negative 1 equals i, I can rewrite this as x equals plus or minus i times the square root of 16. Well, the square root of 16 is 4. So this gives me complex conjugate pair plus or minus 4i. So I have four solutions. x equals 4i, x equals negative 4i, x equals 4, and x equals negative 4. And let's just think about Descartes' rule of signs and show that it predicted the possibilities for the type of roots that I could get. Since I have x four to the fourth minus 256, if I look at the number of sign changes for this, this is positive to negative. So one sign change. This tells me that I'm going to have one positive real root or less than that by an even number. But I can't go, because then I'd be going into negative numbers, and I can't say that there's negative one real roots. That wouldn't make sense. So it's just one positive real root. Now, looking at f of negative x, this gives me negative x to the fourth minus 256. Well, this negative one, when you take it to the fourth power, is just going to become positive. So this gives me this. And again, I have one sign change. So this tells me that I have one negative real root. Since the degree here is 4, I have four total roots. So this is going to leave me with one positive real, one negative real, and two complex roots, which is exactly what I see. Positive real, negative real, and a set of complex conjugates.